spice here. We got four mass fusions to do. So we're spicing groups of 12. Went ahead and ribbonized these already. So we're good to go. That one's looking a little funky. It's okay, we mold her back into place. Anyhow, we're gonna do a quick splice here. Not gonna be too long of a video. Should be able to pump right through these, but I wanted to make this video and tell you guys a few of the tips and tricks that I do. So I've got my splices laid out in order. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So I don't even have to think about it. You're gonna go ahead and grab a couple of your heat shrinks, do four of them. Now with this brand of heat shrinks, the majority of them, other than the Fujikiri, Fujikiras, um, if you go ahead and look, there's a, there's a like chunk of plastic that overhangs on either end. So you can go ahead and throw those on, splice it, and then when you go to test it, sometimes this plastic melts down onto the fiber and pinches them, creating a, a loss in your actual network. And you'll come out here and you'll go to re-splice it and you won't realize it's actually these that are causing the loss. So what I go ahead and do, and I just snip off the excess on the ends so that there's no way possible for that to ever cause a loss for me. It's a little bit tedious having to do this. I always prefer the Fujikira's heat shrinks because they're just clean, nice, never have to do this with them, but this is what we got today. So a little, little tip for you guys, if you've run into this before, just always trim them up. Save the half. So we'll go ahead and get this turned on. Always arc test before you splice at the start of the day. I've already second location of the day today, so we've already arc tested. And uh, go ahead and throw your shrinks on before you get started. So that's the last thing you want to do is go ahead and make a splice and realize you didn't have your heat shrink on. I'm pretty sure we've all been there, done that. Uh, yeah, get them on there. Well, once you got them on there, double check you guys got a good view here. Okay, cool. All right, grab your first one. Got it labeled as one. All right, I like splicing blue up. Grab your chuck. Okay. Position down there. Slide in the, in the stripper. Oh, that's heating up. Start prepping the other one. Already like so. That's nice and heated now. Firm grip. Sometimes it doesn't want to get it all, so go ahead for a second pull on it. Do three wipes, two wet, one dry. Do a couple light taps, smooth cut, placed in there nicely. Will give us the average losses on the, on the 
little splice there. Also zeros and ones and twos. Go ahead and firm pressure on either end. Pull on either end. Keep the tension on it. In the heater it goes. On to the next. Chipped one there, you guys can see there. It's all right. Uh, push a little bit more ahead. Give your pads are clean, sometimes that'll cause the chips. Another little trick you can do too, you can judge it off the averages the machine will give you, right? Or you can also slightly open the lid and then you can go ahead and see all the actual splices. You can see there's no imperfections in there, so regardless of what the average was, as long as the glass is looking good through the microscope at the end, once you get clean well, you're going to be good to go. there getting close now Let that one light up a bit and then got our last one here we can throw it in the chip bada bing bada boom
Another 48.5 is down. There we go. All oh, that spices nicely. We got no bubbles. That tray is complete. Pump it up. Slide the shrink up. Pop the other one out. Couple cores in the middle. That oh, looks fine. There you go. That's how you spice 48 fiber right quick. A couple mass fusions. I'll go ahead and uh, show how I throw it away right quick in the tray. Very simple process. Well, that last one's heating up. We'll pop that out. Like that. Those off there. Get that out your way. Go ahead and grab your chip. Go ahead and come in here like this. Now you're number one. No, I didn't do it. Like that, yeah. Okay, yeah. Number two. You're number three. We'll wait on that last one. Then we'll pop these out because these are your dead slash most likely used in the future. So those will go in after the, the live stuff or freshly connected stuff. And that's so in the future when someone new comes in here, if I were to have put, left these down and then put these spices in, that means they're gonna have to pop my spices out to get these fibers on. It's gonna, it makes it a lot difficult for the next guy. So by doing this, whenever the next guy comes in, he doesn't have to pop any of my splices out because these will be the last thing going in so that he can just pull these right out with, without affecting any of these at all. It'll make his day a lot easier. That's one thing in fiber, it's always about the next guy. Not a lot of people think about that, but that's how you should be thinking and building. How do you want this case to look if you were going into an existing one? So now you gotta really look at it, make sure you build quality quality work. So. Now we got that out the way. This is cooled off somewhat enough. Try not to put them in too hot. I'm gonna pop it over. Go ahead and find the sharpest thing you can. And uh, get right near the fiber there. It's always good. Pop those in. Now 
now you put these back in so that they're on top. Easy to access in the future. And there you have it. Bring guys down and give you a better look. And there we go. You got your spices right there dialed in. Tray's looking nice and neat. Ready for service. Hope you guys like this spicing video. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you haven't. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.